Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and people today I'm going to talk about a jQuery plugin called Label Better. And um, in fact, let me straight away start off with the browser preview. Look at the small form which is asking for the full name and for the email address. These are two input text fields and the moment I actually click inside them, okay, full name, whatever, email address, whatever, right. You see, uh, the, you know, the, the placeholder which is like the hinting flies up and flies towards the right and uh, let's see how easily we can actually do it so if you need the plugin guys uh, what you should be doing is just google it up google jquery uh, plugin label better if you find it fine if you don't find it i'm always there just send me an email at mohitsmail at the rate yahoo.com mohitsmail at the rate yahoo.com and i will send the uh, plugin to you and this is the way you actually use it. I've shown the usage out here. Now I'm using uh, the HTML5 doc type people. This is the opening HTML tag. Closes in line number uh, 29. Meta character. This is all standard people. Title all standard. Okay. Now let me explain nine. I'll, I'll be doing a little bit of a coding, especially the CSS styling. But everything else is so self-explanatory. I can just walk you, talk you through. Cool. So these are the open. You know, this is the script tag which is trying to. Probably not the latest jQuery version, but that's okay. 1.9.1JS. Right, so that's the jQuery library that it's actually tying up to. I'm using a CDN content delivery network. And it's also tying up to through the SRC attribute jQuery.labelbetter.js. You need that. You put it in the root people, root directory. Okay, not inside a folder. That's the way. Uh, because of the way uh, the path has been given in the root. Cool. Now, we have opening closing script tags out here. You can keep it separate from the document. External, two. That's that's your choice. But since uh, it's so uh, short and sweet, kept it in-house itself. Okay, so when the DOM is initialized and the document is actually ready, fire an anonymous function. And that function should target, this is the way you're going to write it, dollar sign input label underscore better. Okay, and make sure make sure that you have a class label better attached to the input tags okay so you see input is out here inside the opening closing form tags which is after three br tags br for the line breaks three line breaks people then the opening closing form tags so a small form out here just a demo input with the class of label underscore better type text data position i'll tell you what that actually means top and right it's going to override the position set out here placeholder is a, is like uh, hinting what should actually go inside the uh, input fields or the text area fields right in my example I'm using just uh, input fields full name or email address or whatever you write out here appears in the field dulled out kind of grayed out thin and grayed out yep that is how the placeholder attribute actually works in HTML5 cool uh, so we are targeting all input uh, fields which have a class of label better and then the method is label underscore better okay this is the way the plugin was actually written so don't ask me why label better out here and then we have uh, certain other values so position top so by default if you click inside the uh, text field it should jump to the top the placeholder that is easing uh, at the moment has been set at ease in out you can set it to ease out, ease in, etc, etc, simply ease, which is also the default, should be the default. Offset by how many pixels should the placeholder jump up or jump right or jump left or jump bottom, whatever, right? Hide placeholders on focus, so you want f on the focus, the placeholders should be removed. Cool, so this is that simple script, people. You need to follow after these two script tags. Right, so inside the body of the document, two BR tags, three line breaks, then the form tag, the input tags. Data position actually is going to is going to override this value. By default, we set it to top, but we can take it to right or left too. All right, placeholder, as I said, is the the text that appears in the text field. Class is important, so whatever, wherever you want the effect to happen. Make sure that you apply the class label better. It's as simple as that. So this was the result. Okay, this was the result. Right. So guys, uh, let me style it a little further. Just, just make it give some cosmetics aesthetics. Right. 
so style tab that's Emmet go to this plugin already let's say background color and how about 333 okay how about a height of uh, let's say 10 px let's say a padding of 10 again tab to expand the code that's uh, I met code assist plugin for you in action okay what else should I give back yeah let's say color mm, 0 0 0 okay make it FFF <coughs> cool that's right and at the moment let me just save the document bring up and just check mm, why is the background color not appearing oh yes of course We're not applying it to anything at all sorry 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 <laughs> this is stupid I think it's late in the night I'm actually feeling very tired and fatigued so just at the end of my energy reserves the mind is actually blank don't believe I made this mistake yeah, just let me set everything properly yep okay let's save everything up bring up the browser let's reload yeah all good how about font size let's say 16 px how about border BDRS border radius BD BD RS tab 10 px okay save bring the browser up let's refresh yeah cool okay outline none okay refresh that's taken care of the bluish outline that was appearing where that was the browser default alright so if I fill in something appears white well, let's change it to ghost white where's the color yeah just change it to ghost white let's see how this actually appears bring the browser up let's reload okay let's type in okay or white smoke let's try white smoke not happy with ghost white too save it bring the browser up let's reload Tada! is it actually overriding everything it all appears to be the same let me just try pink it doesn't seem to make any difference actually no it does it does and actually pink is looking cool right so people it's as easy as that uh, let me quickly sum it up okay so yeah so this is tying up with the latest jQuery version or could be the second latest so that's okay and uh, you need the plugin uh, label better google it up or else check me out I'll give it to you so when the DOM is initialized the document is actually ready all the elements are accessible is when you target the input text fields with the class label better use the method label underscore better that was the way the plugin was actually written position top easing whatever offset by how many pixels high placeholder on true set it to true okay so this, these are the two input text fields guys with the class label better the data position can actually offset the position top which is the default placeholder is the 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 text hint that's gonna appear inside the text field so as simple as that people all right these three br tags are for three line breaks three lines inserting three white lines cool empty lines so as easy as that people so I hope you found this uh, plugin cool yep you have a good day bye bye peace